I'm back at you with a new video. I am actually doing my mom's hair. We're styling it. I'm using the Simply um, Smooth product. This thing is so great. It hydrates, detangles, strengthens, smooths, defrizzes, and it locks in color, and it's a heat protectant on top of it, and it transforms your hair without adding weight. So I'm just rubbing that in and putting that on her hair. I'm gonna be giving her a blowout. So I'm gonna blow dry style her hair and show you how I do it. And then I'm also gonna add a couple curls with my Chi um, straightener. So I'm gonna show you how to do that also. So right now I'm just rough blow drying her hair just to get a little bit of the moisture out. You don't want her hair to be sopping wet when you do a blowout. You want it to be kind of... Yeah. I'm just using my comb to part the underneath of her hair of where I'm gonna start blow drying and then we're just gonna clip that part up top so you need like three or four clips if you're gonna do this to someone else so right here I'm gonna take the round brush and you're gonna start off at the root and you're gonna pull this is what's gonna smooth out the hair cuticle and it's gonna make it super shiny and it's gonna stay within the curl that you made with the round brush Okay, so you're just gonna keep rotating the round brush. You're gonna be pulling tension on the hair and you wanna keep spinning the brush as you're going with the blow dryer. Normally you wanna have a blow dry attachment that's flat, which makes this go way smoother, but I could not find mine. So that's what I'm working with and it will work, it's fine. Um, so I'm just flipping the brush around. This is what, how I do a blowout. A lot of people do them differently, which is totally fine. Okay, so when I take out the brush, I'm twisting it out of her hair, kind of, um, I don't know how to, else to explain it. I'm just twisting it out of her hair. And then I'm gonna twist it with my fingers and I'm gonna lay it down on her shoulder and just leave it there. So while it's cooling, it stays in the curl. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing to this section. I usually split the bottom parts of the hair with at least two pieces. Um, I'm gonna just keep round brushing, keep twisting the brush, smoothing out the hair. Make sure you don't burn anybody, because I've done that before and it does not feel very good at all. So I just fast forwarded a little bit. I'm showing you how I'm pulling the brush and how I'm twisting it. I've gotten a couple more curls done. Some of them you don't have to twist. I'm kind of just leaving a couple loose. But as you can see, there's still curls formed from when I did the bottom part. Okay, so here's just another more up close clip me doing the hair you just really want to make sure it's dry when you're going through it you want to make sure everything's smoothed out no frizz is left I think twisting the brush back and forth really helps um, make sure there's good tension on the hair okay, and this is where I'm going to twist the hair around you're just gonna twist and twist and twist and then at the end you're just gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna twist it all together and set it down. You never create your heat protectant. I almost forgot to show you guys. It's just the Neuro Heat Protectant. I've talked about it in my other video before. So you can see how shiny her hair is. I don't have a light on her hair at all. Like, that's natural shine from when you do the blowout. I, that's why I love them, because your hair looks literally so healthy. the side of her hair and we're just gonna get that shine she's gonna have a nice bounce to her hair like she went to the salon even though the salon's at home mom hello I'm gonna have her turn and we're gonna do the other side okay so now that her hair is all blown out I'm just adding a little bit more heat protectant which also mom you need some more layers in your hair girl just letting you know but <laughs> we're gonna add the heat protectant and now I'm gonna go in with the chi and we're gonna just curl a couple random pieces of hair. And I know you're like, chi, straightener, curl. It's so easy, you literally twist and pull and you have a beautiful little curl.
adding some dry shampoo to help give her some volume, just a little bit in the back and um, a little bit on the sides. Nice and vibrant and bouncy. Yep. 